everyone, this is Yui. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today I'm talking about favorites and empties of February and March. So yeah, it's like a two months like all put together. Although I have only two favorites to share with you and the rest is like all empties. Now, when it, um, as far as uh, empties are concerned, it's mainly just February favorites. I think I did a February favorite. Sorry, what, what am I saying? No, empties. Sorry, I'm confusing myself. So empties are for the Februarys mainly and I didn't finish any of the product during the month of March. And as for the favorites, it is March favorites. All right, let's start off with the favorites because I have only two things to talk about, but I think it's gonna elaborate and it's gonna be a long story. I just get the feeling of that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the first thing is the Sporage Cream from Chifure. This is a Japanese brand and such a great cream because this literally saved my skin from all the misery. Really, really, I'm not exaggerating. The thing is, I already said that I had a dehydrated skin in the last favorite video, which you can check out right here. And you can check out the whole story, history of my dehydrated skin. Then when I was still going through that routine, my skin kind of got worse. It, it's not like it got worse, but it went back to where it was before. I was using lots of different products, but I think my skin was at, a very bad place like it was so weak it just couldn't really hold all the good nutrition I was like I don't know where it's gonna take me but I'm just going to stick to protection and I'm just going to make my skin feel better and then I can start thinking about hydration or any extra things so basically I was using only this as a skincare routine I would throw in uh, some of the toner some of the eye cream only when I need it. In the morning, I wouldn't even use a cleanser to wash my face. I would just use a warm water, not too hot, just warm, lukewarm water, and that's just it. Pretty much, I was doing things that is not harsh on my skin. Don't irritate your skin, don't tag your skin, just don't, just leave it kind of alone and just do the minimal uh, uh, protection. That was what I was doing and it worked great on my skin. I'm not saying that this is going to work for everyone. Of course, everyone's skin is different. So I wouldn't really say this is the only way, but this is the way it worked for me. So if you're kind of in the same position, maybe it's worth trying. And this never has burned on my skin and it's such a great thing. You can use it on your body and it doesn't have colorant. It doesn't have a perfume and it has like it works on a lot of things it's sort of like a prescribed medicine but it's not it just works on a lot of different things so i really really liked it and i have one more tube of this because this is almost gone and i have one more tube and i'm a little bit worried i'm being a little bit paranoid about that being gone before i go back to japan and I'm a little bit worried about it. <laughs> and then the second thing is this little guy called Beauty Pot. This is just a makeup sponge which you dampen and use, you know, over and over again. It's not really like disposable sponge and you wet it and then you kind of, you know, uh, drain the excess of water and you're left with just really super puffy sort of wet sponge damp sponge and then you apply foundation with it sometimes even powders um, with this and it just looks really beautiful and I think this is um, you know kind of like a dupe for the beauty blender and I don't have a beauty blender so I can't really compare it but from what I see on other YouTube videos and what I hear and everything, I think this is more a dense version of a beauty blender. This one feels like a latex sponge. It's really, really dense feeling, but it doesn't have latex, by the way. I am quite happy with it. I have never really used a beauty blender, so I don't know what it feels like or how it applies, but I'm pretty happy with this one like I feel like I don't even need to try the beauty blender I'm still curious to try it but I feel like this is already pretty much perfect that I don't even need to try other things I would use this um, for the foundation application especially on sensitive skin or dehydrated skin or any skin that has problems and this works great because I was using brushes fingers other kinds of sponges puffs you know, all sorts of things to apply foundation. None of it was working well. Like, it would look scaly, it would look too cakey. 
Um, those are the foundations that I was using before I'm talking about. This one, I had it for a while and I used it time to time, but then I just found it in a corner and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm gonna try this. Dampen it, use it. It was amazing. It sits the foundation, any kind of foundation, usually the thicker foundation, I would say, sits so much better on my skin with this. And you use a fuller coverage foundation because when you use a damp sponge, I think it takes you know, a little bit of the coverage away somehow, but it looks so natural. You can't detect where it starts and where it ends. I mean, where the foundation starts and where it ends. It almost looks like your skin, but so much better. So I highly, highly recommend it. And it is definitely my favorite, especially when my skin is not feeling so well. All right, let's move on to empties. I have a lot of things to talk about, so I'm just gonna do it really, really quickly. The first one is a hair care product. This is in no particular order. I'm just pulling up the products and talk about it. So this one is a Herbal Essences Tosami Softly Mousse, I think that's what it's called, yes. And this is in an old packaging now. It's in a different packaging, of course. And I really loved how this smells. This has like violet, Lily was it? I don't know. Violet Splash Fragrance, that's what it says, but it smells great. I didn't really realize my hair being bouncy or anything particularly when I used this. It just gave me a little more of the body, but my hair is so weird, like it's so stubborn and I have a little bit of wave in here and that never comes out really straight and then I have a super straight bits which is so hard to use a tongue on because it would just wouldn't hold the curl so basically whatever that is what my hair holds right now it's just the way it is and it really resists being changed <laughs> so I really wanted to have a fluffy you know wavy hair at some point I use this it didn't really work well that I don't really need a um, tongue or a curling iron or whatever the thing that most people use to curl their hairs or make it wavy, whatever it is. Um, I just wanted to go apply and then kind of scrunch it up and go. Uh, that was not the case for me with this one. I think nothing works like that for my hair. So it's not like this product was so bad and then it didn't work. I think it's my hair, but it smelled great and I really liked it. I'm using some other different products that is not mousse this time, but um, mousse is kind of messy when you apply it. It's just kind of crazy. So. Um, I wouldn't necessarily go back to the mousse, but I didn't really mind this product. I thought it was a pretty good, decent product. The next one is this product. This is not the one that I was using when I had a dehydrated skin. It was, this is the one that I was using before that. And I finally finished it and I was pretty happy with it. Even though I had a bit of an issue with the burning feelings around my nose, I wouldn't really say that this is really great for the sensitive skin, but it's still an okay product. And I did enjoy using this, not as much as a snail face mask, which I talked about in the last favorite video which was working well for me when I had a dehydrated skin it's this one is still good but not super favorite I wouldn't really say the next one I have talked about the same kind of a different scent before this is uh, oh baby house of rose body scrub it says body smoother but it's basically just a scrub it's an amazing product this comes in lots of different scents they have I think grapefruit scent or unscented version all the time and they come out with this you know um limited edition every once in a while every, i don't know every season every year i don't really know but this is a rose one and i talked about the musket i mean what is it chardonnay one before and that smelled so gorgeous and so yummy this one is sweet road scent and i quite liked it it's very very different to the chardonnay of course but i still like this one and I really love how it smooths my skin and you can definitely see the results from the first use. You can really see that your body is much, much, much smoother and softer after using this. Okay, so. next one I did enjoy but not as much as I thought I would. <laughs> it is Nivea's In Shower Body Conditioner and this is for a very dry skin so it's in a blue tub and I thought that it was going to be kind of the same as Rose Argan Body Conditioner from Lush because I enjoyed it so much I thought I would give it a go with this, you know, 
cheaper version, cheaper alternative I thought it would be. It is completely different. The same concept, but a very different product. This one, if I compare it to the Rose Argan Body Conditioner, would have a really slimy feeling. Even if you wash it off, it feels really slimy but it you know when you get out of the shower when you just you know dry yourself with a towel it kind of you know turns into a moisturized feeling but you know you just wash your body and then put this on and it becomes slimy all over again and you just pat it and then you're then you're like oh it's moisturized i just didn't really like that texture of this product although I did finish using this I was like nah, I'm gonna just keep using this it was not a bad product but it was just very very different to Rose Argan body conditioner and it just smells like you know the Nivea cream if you don't really mind that that's great oh uh, one thing that I liked about this product is that you can put on clothes pretty much straight after drying your body you don't have to wait for the moisturizers to be absorbed and anything like that on the other hand, I like just putting body moisturizer on my skin. It's kind of like a massage sort of feeling. So I kind of miss that, you know, like I like applying it. Like I don't mind applying body moisturizers after the shower, you know, after getting out of the shower, coming to the bedroom and applying it. I really don't mind it. So I just didn't really feel like this is super necessary for me, but you know, okay product. I probably wouldn't repurchase though. Also, I used up, almost used up, I just kind of didn't like it enough to really, really, really go down to the last drop of this product. It is Sunsil Co-Creations Damaged Hair uh, Reconstruction, what is this, conditioner. So I didn't use a shampoo of this one, but I have used, you know, the hair mask that comes in a tub of the same series before, and I like the, the treatment, but somehow this one, I didn't like it. I think it is more about the texture. It was so runny. It wouldn't really cling to my hair. It's kind of like just put it on and then it just kind of drips out of my hair. You know what I mean? Like it was so runny and it didn't really feel like it was clinging onto my hair as much as it should because it's a conditioner. It should be working and yeah, it's, it's just that texture that I didn't really like and I it didn't amaze me. So I wouldn't recommend it. I still recommend the hair treatment that comes in a tub, but conditioner is not the greatest thing in the world. Finally, I used a big bottle of Bioderma Creoline or Sensibio H2O, whatever you call it. And this one was almost gone. Like I had only this much left um, when I switched to the other cleansing method and it was just left alone for the longest time and I just finished that. So it's not really like I finished the whole bottle in March or February. It took a while, long time actually, for me to finish this whole bottle, but I used it up and I'm done with it. And I love this product so much. And if I had a lot of money to spend on this Bioderma product, I would buy this all the time. Next one is this thingy. It is called Delivery Essence from Ex Lula from Sato. It's uh, one of my favorite, all-time favorite uh, skincare line, this whole collection. And Ex Lula is just really, really great. I love their toner. I love their cream. Delivery Essence is more like a serum and I did enjoy using it. I did feel like it was, you know, literally like delivering the hydration in my skin. It was something a little bit extra though. So I wouldn't say it's totally, totally essential, but it definitely has helped me. I'm not so sure about repurchasing it because as much as I enjoyed it, it's just, it feels like it's sort of extra. So if I have a lot of money, if I just save up enough to buy all those different things, you know, from the Exalula line, then I would definitely consider buying it. But this would not come to the, the top of the list of what I need to get from Exalula line, I don't think. The next things are all those little things. And okay, let's go with the mascara. I finished using Illegal Length from Masc uh, sorry, Maybelline. And I quite liked it. And this is a really funny mascara, I thought. It is because when you look at the brush, when you see from this side, I know you can't see, but it's like a triangle brush. Like, it looks like a triangle, but it's kind of rotating as you go. So it's kind of like a twisted up triangle. 
and it feels really funny like i mean when you're using it you don't really feel it but like when you see it from the you know the dead end it just looks really funny so yeah that's what it is um in terms of how it performs i really like the extra fiber in there um it didn't really feel like the fiber was like poking in a different directions that it looks really really fake or anything i quite liked how it performed on my lashes it was not super volumizing of course it was more of a lengthening product and i think i would like it better if the brush was a little bit shorter this way um and also uh, what is it like so it's smaller and if the brush is actually a bit more dense like more concentrated if it had more bristles i think it'll be a uh, better one but still a very good mascara next stuff is a brush cleaner from cosmetica cosmetica yes from manicare so this one i didn't really like the idea of it because um, you spray into the brush or spray onto the tissue and you swirl the brush in. I thought that was it, but when I read it carefully, it says you need to rinse it, you know, under the running water anyway. So it's like, what is the point of it? Like, if you can just spray onto the tissue and then swirl it and then when it's done, it's so quick, so effective, like time effective, and I really, really would like that. But you still have to rinse it even after using it on a tissue anyway, so it's like, why don't I just wash it with um, soap or baby shampoo or anything, you know, that I do in a normal way. I thought that this is going to be the quick fix, but it wasn't. So it's it's really my fault that I didn't really read it carefully. But, you know, when it comes in a bottle like this, I would ex you know expect it to be kind of that, but it wasn't. And I use it as a normal brush cleanser, you know, dipping it into the solution and, you know, using it like under the running water it didn't really remove that well anyway so i'm not super impressed with this i will definitely not recommend or repurchase this again next one is one of my favorites it's instant uh, instant age rewind concealer in i think it's light light or pale i think it is light and Look at this sad little guy. The fluffy thing on top, it just came off. And what happened was, you know, this clicking thing, it doesn't work anymore. Like, it's just, it stopped working pretty much straight after I started using it. Like, I started twisting and something broke inside and then I have to constantly, like, push it in and, you know, lock in some mechanism in there and keep using it. And one day I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna just use it anymore because it's really getting on my nerves like I have to constantly fix it to um, keep using it so I basically just um, took all the concealer that was left that was not really much anyway and then I just put it in a little container and just got rid of this oops thing and it seems to fail on a lot of people so just be aware of this when you buy this it might the packaging not the product the product was amazing i really liked it i really liked the fluffy top and how it um applied with the fluffy top was amazing but this whole you know the packaging might just break on you and it's just a little warning they should definitely make an improvement on this packaging and next thing is it can make liquid eyebrow and this is one of those things that I kept using over and over like this is probably my third pen and I know you can't really see it because it's very very um, it's not saturated it's like super thin and of course this is like all gone so it's even thinner I guess than what you would get but because it's thin when you draw it it's just so natural it's looking super natural but um, it just adds nice strokes and it just is really nice to do the tail bits of the eyebrows it's just really perfect I just miss using this I don't have any more of this I have to go back to Japan to get this and yeah I just really missed this and <laughs> I'm so sad that I used up all of it uh, but yeah anyway it's a really great product if you're into you know super sharp eyebrows and I definitely recommend it it's very very affordable thing I don't know how much it was um, I think it was like 500 yen so it's more like five six dollars you know something super super um, affordable and super easy to use it might take some time to get used to the liquid eyebrow the, the concept of it because it's just you know a weird thing but once you get used to it i think 
you know, it's really a great product. The last thing is just a little sample size of Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash. It's the original one, so it's like a yellow, golden um, colored one that smells like... I don't know, like a rubber. <laughs> this one I was using and then it was a you know baby trial size. Um, I don't know where I got this from but I used it. I wasn't super impressed with it to be honest and I didn't really feel like it was doing anything about my you know pimples or acne whatever. It says acne wash but it really didn't do anything to improve my skin in terms of acne. So I feel like it's an okay product like it didn't burn on my skin and it felt even though it was like a bubbling type of a cleanser it didn't really feel like it was washing away like every single thing that it felt like it was squeaky clean and then it felt like it was super tight and dry after using it that was not really the case for me with this one but I'm not super impressed to really go out and buy the full size product yet it's just it's like okay product but I'm like about it so that's all for today and thank you so much thank you so much for bearing with me to go through all these products i hope it was helpful to you or um yeah like it's more like a reviewing like once a month reviewing time so i hope it was helpful to you if you have any questions or any comments about the products that i mentioned please let me know in the comment sections i'm looking forward to hearing from you guys and thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye.